Isaiah Murrieta Golding never stood up again after the gunshot hit him in the back of the head. Police had tried to detain the 16-year-old a few minutes earlier in a shopping center parking lot near Sean Fresno. Come on backwards, backwards, towards my boy. Stop right there, stop right there, stop right there, down on your knees. Down on your knees. Stop, 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 stop. Police body camera footage shows Marietta running away and an officer following. You can't see the chase end on this video, but you can hear it. <laughs> Marietta had run to a daycare where surveillance video shows him jumping a fence and running again. He made it about eight steps before Officer Ray Villavaso fired the deadly shot. Officers thought the teen might be involved in a homicide the day before, and Villavaso reported Murrieta looked at him and reached for his waistband, so he feared for his life. Villavaso over there described being in fear for his life. There is no way that police officer was, was in fear of his life. That's a justification for the shooting, um, for his, the shooting that he committed here. Right, frankly, I think the killing that he did in this particular case. There was no reason for him to shoot that gun, none whatsoever. It makes me angry just to even look at this videotape. But fellow officers seem to approve. New police chief Andy Hall declined to comment for this story because of the pending lawsuits. But the city's Office of Independent Review, the OIR, found the shooting within policy. Quote, the reasonableness of force is based on the officer making a split-second decision after observing the suspect reaching for his waistband area several times during the foot pursuit. But that's just not what the law says. The law says that there has to be an immediate threat of death or serious bodily injury, which clearly there wasn't. This young man was trying to run away. And you can be as critical as you want about how you shouldn't do that. But that doesn't give the police the right to use lethal force. The OIR did recommend 10 policy changes, including putting body cameras on officers on the street violence team, like the one who shot and the one jumping the fence to chase. Those officers should also have less lethal weapons, according to the OIR. A jury is set to decide next year if the OIR was right to justify the shooting. Corin Hoggard, ABC 30 Action News. Copy.